As you recall in the previous training videos, we went over joins. And a join is a temporary relationship between two or more tables within a query. So, once we're done with that query, where we're not using that query, it's not permanent, like something that you would see up here on the Database Tools tab in the Relationships window. Now, a self-join is a joining table to itself. That's right, we're going to have a relationship with ourself. If you can talk good and be nice to yourself and learn to love yourself, then you can learn to love everybody. Now, the definition of a self-join is based upon fields where it has duplicate data. It's not just willy-nilly where you can take any table and join it unto itself, but it has to have fields where it has duplicate data but in different records. So in my example here, let's open up the supervisor's table, and we've got the employee ID. Now it's listed here, but also it's listed over here in the supervisor ID column. So it's duplicated, but in different records. In other words, I've got employees that are also supervisors over other employees. So the supervisor for Max Klinger is EE18. Let me go down and find the employee EE18, and it's Paul. How about Max Klinger? Is he a supervisor over anybody else? Well, his employee ID is EE01. So if I come over here in the supervisor ID column and go down to find E, there we go, EE01 is Carrie, and there's more down below, Mary and John and so on. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a query where I can do a self-join so I can have a list of the first and last name for the employees and the first and last name of their supervisors and not have to do this annoying lookup and go, okay, well, who's EE25? And then scroll down and it's John Doe. So to do that, let's go ahead and close out of here. And my query that I created is supervisors, double click. Now, it doesn't open up because even though I have the table set up in the query, it doesn't have a field from the table in the grid where I can view that in the data sheet view. That's okay. Click okie dokie. You can always right click on it and go to the design view. And well, there's the table, but I don't have a field from it down below into the grid. Again, where I can see it in the data sheet view. So it doesn't open up in data sheet view. Let's go ahead and hover over the split bar, click and drag that down below, and stretch open the supervisors. Now remember, it's going to be a self-join. So to do that, i got to have the supervisors table listed again or a second time. And to do that, we can go ahead and right-click in a blank area up at the top to show table, find the supervisors, double-click, close out, and there we go. The original name of the table and the original including one or plus one, as it were, Let's go ahead and stretch that open. And so, to be able to go ahead and create this join, I want to have this table as the employees. So when I add the first name and last name down to the grid, it's going to be for the employees, and this one's going to be for the supervisors. To do that, I want to be able to take the supervisor ID and click and drag it and join it to the employee ID in the second table. So what I add from this table is going to be for the employees. When I add, because of this relationship, is going to be for the supervisors. As opposed to going from the employee ID to the supervisor ID, then what I add from this table will be supervisors, and this will be employees. But flip that, or replay the video, or let me go ahead and say it in this relationship, this is for the employees. So when I double-click first name, double-click last, those are the employees. When I come over here and double-click first, double-click last to add it down below, it's going to list the supervisors of these employees. You want to see? All righty. Click on the View button. And there we go, supervisors, well, supervisor Max Klinger over these three employees. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody gave me this and I came up here and I'm like, what are these labels for these columns? I mean, what is this? Let's go ahead and hover in between the two column headers and click and drag or double click to do a best fit on each one of those. And you're like, what's a supervisor listed four times? Well, we need to clean this up, don't you think? Alrighty, let's go ahead and right click, go to the design view, and let's change the properties so it doesn't say supervisors but employees. And instead of supervisors one, managers. To do that, let's go ahead and select the table, right click on it, and go to properties. And we're going to change the alias from supervisors to employees. And then go ahead and hit enter, updates it here and updates it down below on the grid saying that the first name and last name is from the employees table. Cool. Let's go ahead and select that. Property sheet still up. Change its alias. And delete that and we'll do managers. Hit enter. Okay, it updates it there and down below. Let's go ahead and close out. Looks good. Be sure to save our work. Click on the view button 
and let's double click in between. Okay, there we go. Employee first, employee last, and the managers. I can breathe easier now because it makes sense when I look at it. If I was doing it for the first time, that is, and it wanted to know who's the employees and who the managers are. Now you can go ahead and tweak this a bit further if you want. Instead of having the employees dot first, maybe you just want EE -E first and EE -E last and M or man first, man last. Well, in any case, to go ahead and customize those column labels a bit more. Let's right click on the tab, go to the design view, and we can do it down below in the grid. So we need to bring up the property sheet for the field down there by right clicking on it, going to properties, and for the caption we can just say EE first. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive, click on the view button, EE first. Oh that's a lot nicer, isn't it? Cool. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.